Jump in today before I go ahead and tell you exactly what we're doing today. Let's keep it kind of a surprise right now. This right here is a graph, it's not labeled or anything. If you guys are looking just at this, just at this alone, what is the obvious thing that you notice in the graph? Some obvious hand out. You said dates? You said dates? Okay, that's perfect. You said you, you notice something obviously. It increases, then decreases, right? Up, down, up, down, up, down. You said percentages? Yes, yeah, so when you look at the percentages, what difference are they? It says, what do you notice? It says, what do you notice? Very explicit, good. You said it's a scatter? It's a graph. It's a graph for something, right? For what years, what years do you see on the graph? From 1800 to So if there's going to be any material that this graph should show, it's going to contain data within that set time frame. And then it says 0 to 20%. So whatever it is, it's going to be 0 to 20%, right? <laughs> so if you look at it, you see the years on the bottom. So which year, just looking on the graph, does it peak at its highest point? Um, in, nine, in 18. 1800? No, not the 1800. Like, 18, right, no. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, um, the the low 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 low
Poverty, economic. No, partial birth. Like the money. No. Money. Ooh. Oh, my God. You say immigrants? Immigrants. Immigrants? Is that because you guys are on page 238? Yeah. 390. Excuse me, my apologies. All right, so we go to the next slide. This is a chart or a graph, and what is the chart of? Immigration. Uh, population. 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 So this is immigration legislation, which is what our focus will be on for today. We'll be talking, uh, the start of the class, we'll talk about immigration. Towards the end of the class, we'll go with something that goes hand in hand with immigration, terrorism. Okay, so as far as immigration, what years are we going to be analyzing? Looking at this chart right here. 1790 to 2014. 1790 to 2014. And it's very important. When you see the word foreign born, what does that mean? They were born in another country. So when you say foreign car, what's a foreign car? Somebody. Somebody give me an example of a foreign car. Mercedes. Mercedes. Different things that's all from different Visa. Songs, right? Visa. Visa. So when you guys think about America, right? Cadillac. Cadillac Dodge. knows just when you think about America. Ford. Dodge. No. Not car manufacturers again. When you think about America in general, right? Are we a nation of foreign born people? Yes. Yes. We're a nation of immigrants. We're a nation of immigrants, right? So let's take our focus on that right here. So First thing I want you guys to actually look at, right? Our focus today is predominantly going to be from 1950 forward. So we're going to take a look at immigration policy from 1950 going forward. That's going to be the biggest focus on what I want you guys to take a look at today, right? So in 1790, it's very important to understand there was something called the Nationalization Act. 1790, you do not need this for your notes. 1790, there was a Nationalization Act. And what is that that did was it excluded white, uh, non-white people from becoming naturalized. When they say to become naturalized, what do you think that means? To be a citizen, to actually get citizens, right? So if you were not white, you could not get citizenship. You were just living here. You were resident status, right? So that's in 1790. Let's see how we progress. In 1790, we're right about here, right? So we're not really recording statistics yet, right? That's why it's pretty blank, right? So then, the Alien Friends Act, which you also don't need for your note, I'll tell you exactly when we're going to start taking notes. The Alien Friends Act, which took place in, 19, in 1798, right? So alien, that's a word that you see closely related to immigration, correct? Yeah. Out of this country, okay? So Alien Friends Act authorized the president to imprison or deport any alien, right? So we're keeping our president power to import or deport any alien that he deemed dangerous to the United States, right? So importation deportation of aliens, right, and prison route. The Alien Enemies Act of the same year, right, is imprisonment or deportation of male citizens of hostile nations during time of war. So during a time of war, it's a hostile nation, we will go ahead and imprison them. Is there any time that we talked about this at any point in this history class? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Um, no, we're talking about Chinese, they're not Chinese. Japanese. 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 Japanese, correct. So we had them in internment camps, right? So yeah. we actually used this Alien Enemy Act of 1798, right? We got bombed in Pearl Harbor. It was like, look, man, Japanese, I know y'all might be a little friendly right now, but we're going to have to put y'all in some camps, right? We're going to hide y'all in the population, right? So this is exactly what happened in 1798, right? So first one on our chart that we're actually going to focus on today is go to page, well, uh, yeah. The Immigration Act of 1864. This is the first time that we're actually, because if you look at 1790, what does it say? Who can become a citizen? Who can naturalize? Non-white people. Non-white people. Non -white people. Non -white people. Non -white people. They're the only people who can naturalize, right? Now watch how it changed it in a matter of 60 years. The Immigration Act of 1864, right? Or known as to encourage immigration. So they won't immigrate now. We had labor shortages. We didn't have enough people to actually work. So we made contracts with immigrants to actually work. Mexicans in the South to come work in the fields, Europeans overseas to come work in our industries, right? Immigration and Nationality Act of, Immigration and Nationality Act of 1952. Here's what I want you to do. I said page 398, but let's go to page 400. So 
So we're in the year 1952 and we're looking at this again, right? So in 1798, only white people, right? It said, only white people. These were our only people that were allowed to be naturalized. We moved to year four, 1798. The first time we're actually gonna look at the map right now was the Immigration Act of 1960, uh, 1864. That's when we start encouraging immigrants. So it's not just white people. We start encouraging immigrants. So you see it starting to go up, right? Now we look at the Immigration and National, I'm sorry about that, Nationality Act, uh, which happened in 1952. If you're on page 400, 400. Can I get one reader? Let me cut the light on and see if you can you see. Yes, you can see. All right. Can I get one reader to actually go ahead and read it? Uh, Eric, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, can I get a volunteer to read this one for me? Yeah. 